we are going to show you how to connect phonelivestreaming.com to your Zoom account. The reason you'd want to do this is you have people on the other side of the digital divide, elderly or the poor, who don't have access to adequate technology to join you on Zoom. So with phonelivestreaming.com connected to Zoom, now people can receive a phone call from you or call in and listen to your broadcast. This is great for government meetings or for Sunday worship services so that you can include those people that would otherwise be left out in the technical gap. So we're going to go over a lot of instructions in this particular training video is a handheld step-by-step instruction video. So it takes a little bit longer. If you're a technical person, you can move ahead or check out the instructions in the description below. But for the rest of us, we're going to go this step by step. The first thing we want to do is actually get a phone live streaming account. If you don't have one, do go to phonelivestreaming.com and use the sign up button in the upper right hand corner to sign in. Choose the subscription that you want to pay for and start your account. But if you do have your phone live streaming account, we'll show you how to connect it here to Zoom. Bring up um, your browser whatever um, browser you have and in the web address let's go to zoom.com now as you see you can also go to zoom.us it's one and the same what we want to do is sign in now I'm assuming you already have an account if you don't you can sign up for an account over here so I am going to sign in you want to put in your email address that you have associated with your account and your top secret password. Okay, then you can click sign in. Right, now that we're signed in, uh, we want to go to the settings tab over here in the left menu, the settings uh, option. Click on settings. The settings page will load up. Now we can Scroll through here, and there's a ton of um, items that you can configure with uh, your uh, Zoom account. What we are looking for is down about 70% of the way. And it's coming up. Here it is. So what we're looking for is right here, uh, allow live, stream of, live streaming of meetings. You want this button to be on, and you can tell it's on because it's blue. Okay, If it's not turned on, it would be like this one. It would be gray. So it's blue, the white dots on the right hand side, it's on. You want custom live streaming service checked on. Now, mine's already checked on, so uh, I'm good. But what will happen when you make a change here, the save button appears. So you make your change and you click save. I'm going to put mine back on, so I don't need uh, to click save because it was already saved. All right, once this is done, this is the one-time configuration. You only have to do these steps once. The remaining steps that we're going to cover here from here on out are steps you have to do every time you start a Zoom meeting. There's a little bit of an exception to that is you can actually, um, the steps that we're talking about uh, in the rest of this presentation can actually be done ahead of time in scheduling a meeting instead of doing it when you start your meeting. All right? And there's a link in the description below that will take you to the Zoom page that explains how to set this up in a scheduled meeting ahead of time. So I'm going to exit here. The next thing you want to do is to go to phonelivestreaming.com. All right, take a second here and let's go to phonelivestreaming.com. So this is what your page is going to look like, okay? And uh, from here, you would hit the login button, okay, or login option. Let's go back and just do that again. Login is next here to the setup. Login option. You click on that. That will take you to your sign-in page. All right. So I'm at my sign-in page here on my developer's edition. Okay. So here's where you enter your streaming phone number and your administrative PIN. When you signed up for full night streaming, you chose a streaming phone number. That's the phone number you want to enter here. And when you signed up, you were given a four-digit PIN. Okay. If you forgot those, you can actually go to your email and you can search for it. And you want to search for phone live streaming 
setup, setup is one word, information for, for is F-O-R, and then the name of your uh, government entity or your church. And that email will come up, and it has your um, streaming number and your PIN, and there you can enter those in. Okay, so once you've um, uh, entered and logged in, you may get a pop-up of some promotion of some kind. If you want to, you can check out the promotion, or you just click uh, close and continue to log in and full live streaming. Okay, so now we're in phone live streaming. What we want to do is go to live video stream over here and bring up the RTMP settings page. This is the page we're looking for. Now, you want to um, let that be for now. We want to hang on to this. We don't want to close the page. You, you do want to stay here. Our next step is we want to bring up our Zoom account. So I'm going to bring up Zoom here, the Zoom app. And I'm going to start a new meeting. And it's just going to be me in the meeting. I'm not going to invite anybody else to it. We're going to click on this new meeting button. I'm going to join with my audio. Okay, should be coming up. All right. So this is my Zoom account. And you don't see my video because my video is currently being used to do this training. So uh, Zoom is saying, hey, there's no video available. And that's fine. Um, you, you most likely will see yourself uh, in your Zoom account here. What we're looking for is this black. Of course, mine's black on black, but if you saw yourself, you'd see a black bar down here, menu bar. If this bar does not appear or disappears on you, just move your mouse. And by moving your mouse, this bar will come back up. Okay? And from this menu bar on the far right, the three dots with more is what we want to click. Then in this menu, we want to choose Live on custom live stream service. When you click that, it's going to bring up uh, another page in your browser. Okay? So what we want to do is we've got three things to enter here. The first one, the streaming URL. You will find that by going back to your phone live streaming tab. Get the email tab, by the way. So this is my phone live streaming tab. Server or host. This information, right below your server or horse, you want to highlight it. I'm pressing Control-C to copy it. And then I'm going to go over here to this field and Control-V to paste. And there it is. Okay. For the streaming key, now um, this is a top secret key. So this is something you don't share to somebody. It's almost like a password. This is your streaming account. If somebody else gets a hold of it, they can um, stream on your account, which you don't want them to do. But the uh, stream name or key here, um, copy that, and then we can paste it here. And then the live streaming page or URL, here's where you want to put in http um, www.phonelivestream.com. Okay, and then you want to press go live. Now, Zoom is preparing to live stream the meeting. So it's going to go through its process. It's doing the custom streaming service. Takes a, a minute or so here. We'll eject our phone call. Thank you. Um, now we can go back to uh, Zoom. And here we are live using the custom live streaming service. All right. And uh, that phone call that you just heard that I rejected was actually phone live streaming calling me to join the meeting. <laughs> so uh, these are the steps that you go through, and you'll need to go through them um, every time that you start a new meeting, the second half instructions, that is. I hope this is helpful. If you have any questions, uh, you can log into your phone live streaming.com account and reach support there through the chat. Um, or email uh, help at phonelinestreaming.com, and uh, we'll, we'll, we'll be there to help you. Thank you for watching our video.